It's Tuesday afternoon, and you know what that means. It's time for Randomity with the Random Christian Show. Today, Christian welcomes singer, songwriter, and producer Diane Steinberg-Lewis. Brought to you by Neil Getzlow's book, Unmasked, Conquering Sexual Sin and Walking in Victory. Order your copy now at neilgetzlow.com. Use the code RANDOM for a 10% discount. Also brought to you by Consolidated Skateboards, quality skateboarding decks, products as well as shoes, shirts, and blankets on the web at consolidatedskateboards.com. Intro music provided by The Dead Campers. Their latest album, Savage, is out now. Check them out at deadcampers.com. On the show next week, hypnotist (laughs) John Moyer plus random questions of insanity Uh, With us, as always, is Matt. My name is Andy, and now here's your host, a man so random. He's taken all sorts of drugs just to be here today. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, Christian Random. Oh. Whoa, why is it working? That's that's That's, you. That's That's me. That's your turn. I was trying to get in position. (laughs) It didn't work. It didn't work at all. Oh, God. Oh, that wasn't spice. No, that wasn't wise okay. at all. all right. Hello. 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 Uh, I love pain pills and muscle relaxers. They're awesome. Ah, uh, it is Tuesday. It's a random Tuesday, and that's why we're here. Uh, every four o'clock on a Tuesday. Um, <laughs> hi, Andy. Hi. How are you? I'm high. Uh, I am Could high. Be- it's gonna be a great show. Uh, it is. It's gonna be a great show. I'm excited for Diane. She's we were we were already just chit chatting and having fun with her. This is gonna be a great show. Um, yeah. yeah, and we uh, we got a couple things that we're gonna address real fast. Um, as I I let our uh, our our band uh, the Dead Campers, our house band the Dead Campers, who uh, I think just released another single. Um, oh, cool. And uh, so that should be out there on Spotify as well, uh, or hell, just Google them and find their website. Um, but uh, yeah, and they uh, they are at the bank. That's right. They're at the bank this Saturday in downtown Saratoga, California. If you guys want to see them live, uh, the bank is an institution in that town. It's been there forever, was actually the first bank in that small town, oh. and then uh, became a bar. And uh, spent many a stony cool. nights there in my youth. So uh, make sure you check that out. Um, so let's let's just do this real quick. Oh, oh, Andrew, what did you do? Uh, I gave you a present. Andy updated things. I've got soundboards. <gasps> What's going on here? Oh, there's new additions. <laughs> let's just try it out real quick. Hold on. You ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. I like that one a lot. Easy. 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 It's almost as good as that one. Much better. Much better. That one. Yeah. No, that one's never going to get old. What? (laughs) I got to learn to time those two better. Yeah. Kind of like with my Thanos snap, too. So. Right. Uh, yeah. But hey yo, hey yo. Um, yeah. So uh, got a bit of uh, kind of sad news. And so, uh, what's going on? Our good friends at Consolidated Skateboards are uh, well. Actually, the twelfth was their last day of being in business. Oh um, no! Unfortunately, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty sad. Um, but they are, you know, they're going out on top the way they want to, and that's the way to do it. Um, and they, dude, they, for, for everything that they've done for the, uh, uh, and, and, you know, we all hate to call it a sport, but, uh, skateboarding, yeah. you know, it is what it is, um, which is, is, it is what it is. It's what you make it. It's not what an advertisement makes it. It's not what a corporate company makes it. It's not what the Olympics make it. It's what you do with it. You know, you yeah. ride as best as you can ride. You do tricks that you can do. Um, and you call them what you want, you know, uh, front side boneless could be a backside monkey twist for you. I don't care. <laughs> um, but I mean, that's what it is, dude. Skateboarding was invented, you know, to basically ride waves when there was no waves. 
Right. And um, then it just became its own thing and it advanced and became a lot of fun. And then it, you know, got started being controlled by corporate companies like Nike uh, because they saw a way to come in, wipe out all the little moms and pops guys and make it their control and their power and still to this day they're they're trying to do it but uh thanks to companies like consolidate steve Berto geisinger who created mm -hmm. the company he also started the don't do it Found foundation which you know oh gotcha uh, yeah they were fully against any corporate you know keep keep nike out of it keep adidas out of it you know they they want to do their thing let them do their thing but you know don't try and you know, buy everybody out, which is what they were doing. I mean, uh, I, I know a lot of people don't know this, but Nike actually owns Vans. They are a uh, mm -hmm. a large shareholder in Vans Norn Company, and uh, yeah, uh, it's you know, and and I that's I, I love Vans because they are very comfortable. I grew up wearing them and all that, but uh, then Consolidate came out with their own shoe. Because yeah. of that purpose, you know, it's not right. that they don't like vans, but they don't want to be supporting. They want they want kids supporting, you know, uh, the mom and pops companies. They, you know, go well, to your local I, skate shop. Um, yeah, and I shouldn't have to pay a hundred dollars for vans either. Right, <laughs> absolutely, dude. You shouldn't have to pay a hundred dollars for a pair of shoes anyway. I don't care. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, um, now like I buy a hundred and some odd dollar work boots. But those work boots last me three or four years. Right. Yeah. You know? And no, well, yeah. that's I, worth it. <laughs> right. No, you, yeah, I mean, when it comes to work, uh, honestly, no expense is too much, you know? Right. And you can, you can justify like a larger expense a for, hit. right. Well, exactly. For, for a better quality, you know, for a better quality product. But like when it's coming around, I sort of vowed never to pay more than $30 for shoes anymore. Yeah, you know, and and I, I mean, it's it's worked out in a in a weird way. <laughs> <laughs> Are you stealing Hobo's shoes? No, no, no. <laughs> I just like it, I I shop at. It's funny. I shop at Big Five for my shoes, like sporting. Oh games, yeah, yeah. You know, and I've I to this for the last I don't know fifteen years. I haven't paid more than I I want to say forty five dollars for. Yeah. a pair of like either decent hiking boots or walking shoes or something like that. So yeah. Oh, dude, I get pissed if I'm paying over forty five bucks for a pair of tennis shoes. You oh yeah. It, no, it, yeah. Like I'm like, oh no, there's got to be a sale. There, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll I will have holes and uh, right. Yeah, it drives my wife nuts. But I actually <laughs> have like five pairs of tennis shoes, so I wear them yeah. out evenly now. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so uh, Leticia, Ruano, Steve Verto, Geisinger, we love you guys. Uh, you will always be in everybody's hearts. I, there's been so much outcry on Facebook about it um, and everything with uh, with them having to shut the doors. Uh, but they do. They made their mark and uh, yeah. they, they, you know, they helped, you know, bring back the, the meaning of skateboarding and what skateboarding is all about. And speaking of meanings and feelings, nobody's in touch with their feelings and meanings. Like <laughs> Matthew, <laughs> Matty, Matt, 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 Matt Sotos. Oh, he's making a sign. We're, we're coming up on 10 minutes here. Oh, um, so I'm not I'm in your ear. I'm not in your ear right now. I, I just want to say if you're paying more than 30 bucks for a pair of vans, you don't have a Vans outlet near you. Well, that's true. But I, still, I can I can get three, four pairs for a hundred bucks, and then they last yeah. me years. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know they were uh, um, owned by Vans or owned by Nike. Yep. Yeah. Or that Nike's uh, a very large uh, portion of their ownership. That's yeah. a bummer. N Nike owns a big chunk of stock in Old Van Dorn. And doesn't and, uh, someone own Vision Streetwear now too? Like some some big larger company? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah I think that uh, that went way a long, long time ago. Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah. Um, but Bummer. yeah, it's uh, Bummer. yeah, it is. It's it, it's sad, but 
you know, uh, like I said, th- thanks to Steve, you know, because it was really becoming uh, such a corporate, you know, run business for a while there. You know, Santa Cruz Skateboards was really, really like the mass market, uh, you know, them and Powell Peralta and all that. Uh, right. and then Nike started stepping in and they're like, well, we're going to make skateboards and we're going to have our own team. We're going to pay and they'd pay whatever to get the best skaters, you know? Right, right. And, and of course these guys, you know, what are they going to do? Say no, they'd be stupid if they didn't, but if they had pride and strength, you know, I mean, you've got some amazing skaters on that, uh, that Nike skateboard team. I just, you know, I just wish they'd realize you know, that, Hey man, it's not all about the money. And I I get that, you know, they're having large amounts of money being thrown at them, but then you're seeing the demise of, you know, companies like consolidated. You're seeing the demise of, I mean, Santa Cruz is still, it's becoming a smaller, smaller company, uh, Pal Peralta. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's, you know me and corporations. Well, if you want to, if you want to buy um, small company um, stuff, a buddy of mine um, down in Santa Barbara, well, Ventura now um, sells um, the uh, very limited oh. production uh, skateboards. Oh, really? All right. Yeah. Well, and um, I, uh, I actually write. Uh, I write. I, I, I want to get him on the show eventually, but yeah. Oh. He- yeah, yeah I, why, are we, why are we waiting on that one? Yeah, I, because yeah. I suck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, you both know that. Come on now. <laughs> We're just going to have to do this. Crack the whip. Yeah, crack the whip cracking the whip on that. Whip on that. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I'll, get, I'll get Eric on here, but he does. Uh, he's an interesting guy. I've known him since junior high. And uh, what are they called? Um I'll bring it. I'll I'll find it um at some point during okay. the show. Okay. I'll look well, it up right now. Yeah. During, during hey, we're, we're we're like yeah. coming up on twelve and a half minutes now. So um, if you want to, Matt <laughs> Matt Matt can't yell at us in our ears anymore. He's actually right out in front. So he's I'll trying do it to be, now. We're doing okay. it live. Do we Come still on, need guys. to tap our ears if we I mean, if we hear you, Matt? Yeah. It, only <laughs> only if you're gonna do what I say. If you're gonna ignore me, just just ignore me. <laughs> There we go. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. And uh, again, thanks to my uh, my hip and my half in and half out drug state, I forgot to produce a top 12 list for today. So we'll have a fantastic one for next week because of all the pain and medication pills that I'm Yay. medicating. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. All right. So, um, you know, speaking of medications and things of that sort, um, we, <laughs> I have no idea how I'm segueing. I'm trying to find a segue. And uh, we have we have one of the most lovely ladies. Um, uh, she was in the movie Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club, man. Um, I almost tongue tied myself saying that. Um, and uh, she was Lucy in the sky. And uh, but she's also got an amazing history, musical history as well. And uh, I'd like to bring her on. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to our show, Miss Diane Steinberg Lewis. Hello. Hello, oh, Hello everybody. Oh, oh she's <laughs> yo, that's somebody actually mm. gave me this. Oh, oh that's cool. Awesome. Awesome. Isn't that's that? awesome. I'm gonna have to keep it for all time. So yeah, anyway, yeah. hi guys. For, th- for those not not able to watch uh, on the podcast version, audio version, she just held up a Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band mask, so that way uh, they understand what we're talking about. When they're like, "I don't get it, man. What are you, you know, man?" <laughs> talking about. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello, Miss Diane. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for having me on the show today. We are just I'm absolutely, to death, you know. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bring it, lady. Bring it. Okay, bring um, it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Just get ready for that. <laughs> <Okay>. uh, <laughs> sorry. 
Pause for dramatic. Okay. Uh, so uh, now, Miss Diane. Okay, let's uh, let's just go ahead and fill in uh, the background of Miss Diane. Miss Diane Steinberg Lewis. Now you started out. Uh, you were uh, okay. See, the, and they they don't like to give me much information because then I ask really annoying programmed questions. So okay. which doesn't make it the random Christian show. It makes them the pre-programmed boring Christian show. So, okay. uh, which is a very long title and doesn't have cool initials. So, yeah. So, so we prefer the awkward silence while Christian thinks of a question show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will tell you that Matt, your producer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Matt saw me in the movie when he was just a wee lad. And yeah. <laughs> That's I don't right. know if you fell in love with Lucy or not, but if you did, no. Oh, of course yeah. I did. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so, and we're in San Luis Obispo, and, you know, I didn't get a chance to, is this live right now? Yes, we, we are, are live on did Facebook, you, you... we're live on YouTube, we're live on uh, Twitter, we're live on Twitch, and we're live on LinkedIn. Okay, so, so we, oh, do we have we, a rebroadcast coming so I can say, hey, everybody, you know. Yeah. I'm, well, yeah, oh, we, yeah. Uh, I'll download the audio tomorrow, and yeah. uh, it will it will be out on all the podcast sites tomorrow. So, But, but and, we can also we can also send you a link to the video so you can send that out to your people. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Yeah, because the, the YouTube stuff is up right away, so. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. So, so Matt uh, found out about me, and I'm uh, – we were in San Luis Obispo, and and uh, he saw the movie, and I played Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And um, I've been here kind of, um, you know, undercover, you know. Uh, <laughs> listen, you can be very, you can be that celebrity where everybody knows your face and everything, and then you can't go anywhere. I can't be a bag lady anywhere if, I, if I'm that. No, I can't go to the grocery store. I can't go, you know, and into the... the <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I get you. So when I started, uh, I started as a high school teacher at the Western Michigan University in yeah. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Oh, yeah. Kalamazoo. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I taught high school in Battle Creek. But oh. my mother was in radio. And I have to tell mm -hmm. you, that Western, I did do the news on WDE, was it, what was it, DIV, DI, I can't remember, wider, wider radio, W-I-D-R. <laughs> so, because my mother was in radio, I thought, I do music, I sing, I dance, let's broaden my experience and just try everything in the whole area of entertainment and mm -hmm. information. So, yes. And it was good to see if that was going to be for me by walking in her shoes and seeing how, how that feels. You know, when you're on stage, they see you, you know, they can touch you and everything. But right. when, when you are talking to people, I mean, that's a powerful place to be. The microphone yeah. is, is, is golden. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what she is, she always said, uh, and I have her on film playing this. She's passed now. But she said in radio, you, you have to entertain, you have to sell, but you also have to inform and encourage and uplift people. You yes. Know? Can, oh, my God. Have, you know, you got to have something else you're doing other than, you know, even if you're going to be a jerk on there. And this is no reference to anybody <laughs> here. So, right. <laughs> no, that, that's and that's one thing. I grew up on radio, and that was I fell in love with it as a child. Um, I know you're probably not familiar with the Bay Area jocks, but Dr. Donald D. Rose on 610 KFRC back in the day. Yeah. I grew up listening to him. I, I had a little AM radio. I'd carry it with me wherever I went. At night, I would listen to a 98.5 KOME. Um, I, you know, I, all far different spectrums, um, K and BR, I listened to them for a long time. Um, and I love the fact that these guys, you made people's days. Yeah. Yeah. You informed, you entertained, you, you brought people's spirits, even when something went down bad. Right. You know, I remember, right. you know, uh, and I can't remember exactly what it was. I think it was an earthquake. But doc I remember Dr. Donald E. Rose saying we need to pull together. We need to stand strong. We need to help each other. You know, if there's somebody that needs something, just don't walk past them. Help them. You know, it's things like that. And and people would do it. 
people yeah. would listen. And that's yeah. what I loved about it. It's and that's uh well, the, you know, the the other thing, uh, when my mother in the day, you know, mid 50s, and she was one of the pioneers in radio, but uh she 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 was in an interview where she said a lady called up and she said my husband lost his teeth at at a at a party. Oh, <laughs> whoa! What kind of party? They found the guy with teeth. Is what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> it's like you don't want to pay all that money for teeth, and they, you know, right. and, uh, and they even had people call in and saying, "I can't find my husband," or there, you know, so the whole community would come in and like bust their ass, you know, right? So, <laughs> oh wow! So, I wonder if she ever got to go. I, 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 I've, I've had a few drinks. I can't find my car. <laughs> All right. Take go a ahead. cab. I just want to find my car. No, 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 <laughs> go honky honk. Yeah, that's. Uh, well, you also there's a, a documentary called Airplay that was on PBS, mm -hmm. and, they, and it it's it was Airplay now, but the original title was the DJ Revolution, because without the DJs, I mean. Not only all that other stuff, but you didn't get your record played. You didn't get a hit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. And, you know? and I mean, yeah, you look at guys, uh, oh, back in the day. I mean, good Lord. I can't remember the cousin the, Brucey, uh, oh, yeah. Jerry Donahue. There uh, you go. Jerry Donahue. Okay. Yeah. I know Rachel um, Donahue. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, my God. He was inducted into the Paley Center Museum of Television Radio in Beverly Hills. And she oh, was wow. there. Were, they had this initiative called the um, She Made It Initiative for and, and for three oh. years, they picked 50 women in media, television uh, and radio who have made a difference. And, oh, and cool. uh, I think it was 2006 or 2007. My mother was inducted, but also Rachel Donahue was inducted. Wow, and Roseanne Barr and Betty White, and you know, to see all those ladies there, and yeah, and that that's important now, especially since Women's Month has come, and you know, right? Uh, the DJs are so important to the culture of this country. Oh yeah, and yeah. we are, you know, hey, we were the social media before it got going, don't you? Yes, <laughs> that's absolutely. Right. That's right. That's right. And, and that's why yeah. you know radio fell apart. I mean, that, that's one of the reasons I left radio. I just saw the demise coming, especially, yep. you know, with the way the internet was developing. And I'm like, you know, I'm going out on on the highest note I can go on at this point in my little short 11 year career. Uh, but you know, I don't know. I'm I'm sensing a rebirth. <laughs> well, if I listened to my ex, if I had listened to my ex radio partner, uh, yeah, I probably would have been doing this a long time ago. But I kind of uh, skipped the boat on that one. But I'm back. I'm back. That's yeah, right. Okay. And now we're live. We're doing it. Live. But here, but here's the deal. Once you're behind that microphone, it's kind of hard to give it up, isn't it? Oh my, I. I, you you're can gonna even ask. To be there all the way to the end, dude. Yeah, you, you can even ask Matt. Matt used to hear me on the radio all the oh, time yeah. and stuff, and uh, uh, it's like as soon as I got back into my groove, it's like it was just. Pow, 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 pow. And, and that's uh, the life. I, and and you talking about a metaverse? I know about you know. It's like th this universe of who you're talking to out there. It's like the 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 the, the vision that goes on. Yeah. While you're talking to people and you're talking to so many people but you're i don't know you're not afraid you don't even know sometimes you do know because you get the <laughs> yeah. but uh, uh especially if you're number one you know that there's millions of people but <laughs> the people that you reach that you're not even i mean i would be on stage and whatever room i was in i would try to make it like my living room because right. like more of an intimate thing how much yeah, more yeah. But can you get them this microphone of what we're doing right now? Oh, dude. And, and to be speaking freely about things, especially if you really have something to say. And especially if you have good jokes and stuff like that, you uplift people's days. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. No, it's true. And yeah. that's that's exactly what it's all about. If you even just one person out of maybe the two or three that listen, uh, you get that one person, you've nailed it. You've done yeah. what you needed to do. You've done what you've accomplished. Yeah. I, okay. I'm just pulling up some statistics of where my podcast, the audio podcast reach. Yeah. 42% is the United States. 20% are 
Hello, France. Uh, it is France. Uh, so they think I'm Jerry Lewis. Uh, United Kingdom is 13%. No, uh, <laughs> a lady with the thing in the radio. Oh, boy. Um, Italy. Italy is 11%. I got 3% in Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Ooh. Come Are on. Those- Real? Wow. There's some freaks in Bangladesh. I'm just hey. saying. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Ukraine. <laughs> Listening to you. <laughs> Or us or Are we uplifting spirits in the Ukraine right now? Oh, we uh, might be. Three percent. Three percent of the spirits in U- Ukraine. We love you. Thank you. Take care of yourselves. God bless you. Ireland, two percent. Germany, one percent. Netherlands, one percent. Russia, one percent. Eh, well, who cares? Uh, Canada. <laughs> well, the Russian people. Yeah. Right. Uh, New Zealand, right on, mate. Uh, Philippines, Jamaica, Albania, Sweden, Australia, Belgium. Uh, and then it piddles down into nothing. Well, I, I did an interview with a young lady in uh, Sweden. So sending a shout out to Kate. Yeah. Nice. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. She's going to get me. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, uh, Kate from Sweden. Mes amis en français. Uh, so anyway, that is all I know. So Boom. Anyway. But it did sound good, didn't it? You just <laughs> dropped the F bomb. <laughs> <laughs> the French bomb. Get it? F bomb. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, okay. Uh, so, oh, uh, wrong wait a minute. The question is, how high are you? <laughs> <laughs> that warrants one of these. Yeah. Well, I'm not hot on. In fact, I'm really small. <laughs> I like to hide out in tiny boxes and just hang out and blow balloons up and say, look, it's a bubble. <laughs> and that's how high he is, folks. <laughs> yes, that's how okay. right. <laughs> But he has a reason, so we bless him with the name of the you know. Yes. <laughs> and and Andy's so regretting giving me a soundboard now. Yeah, um, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it offline here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we uh, you were a teacher in uh, Battle, uh, Creek, Michigan. Battle Creek Battle Creek Mission with I uh, had a school choir. I did follies. I choreographed. I did everything because, you know, <clears throat> when I I'm always a teacher in my soul. You know, right? Because my mother was always a mother <laughs> to me. That's nurturing and that's teaching. <laughs> yes, yeah. but that's so, what we're supposed to do. We all teach yeah, each other. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, when I got into the classroom, I would always focus on the kids that, I don't know, they 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 never meant to come forward to say I'm the needy one, but you, you, you kind of yeah. spotted it. And the right. thing is, is that uh, those that didn't have a chance to have the lessons I had or the, you know, piano and the dance and, the, and they couldn't afford it, you know, and. And, and you could see when they got into these music classes, they were like talented and 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 wanted to, you know, this was their place to hang like in the lunchtime. You know, you either hang, yeah. hang out with the with the art people or you hang out with the, what, the, the sports <laughs> bunch? With, with the, the jocks. The jocks. Yeah. With the jocks. Okay, thank you. So uh, at lunchtime, the entire choir room would be just filled with people having their lunch. And then they'd start singing other songs, you know, not just... Uh, what they were learning, but uh, yeah. uh, not just the acapella, really heavy duty stuff. For the, this group was really advanced because Ooh. I did teaching under Giff Richards, who was, uh, I don't know if you know who Norman Luboff was, but just imagine the, the mm-hmm. person that is the, one of the highest people in concert choir stuff. Oh, okay. okay. And he was very, um, uh, and he worked with him. So I was able to observe him in Battle Creek and student teach under him. And they were trying to hire me right out of before I even graduated. So I had to graduate. Really? Then nice. I had a gig, man. But yeah. all I tell everybody, no matter what you're doing, especially in the arts, my daughter's graduating in the arts at in Baltimore. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I, I just say, whatever it is, there's related things you can do in the arts, do all of them, you know, try yeah. everything in that realm. If you're singing, um, uh, so singing, singing the, the dorm lounge, you know, like, you know, there's no reason not to hone your craft in every available opportunity. You oh, can yeah. do it. 
you know, they don't even say, you know, there's no work. I don't even want to hear it. You know, you can, <laughs> right. you can create a path, baby. All they got to do is hear you and see you and they go, I want that one. So right. you never know yeah. who's looking. So that's, right. that's one of my little teacher gems for today. <laughs> there you but, go. <laughs> but uh, when I entertain, uh, when I teach, I especially dealing with high school kids in Battle Creek, it was like kind of the inner city type thing. But it's... Uh, um, you know, you have to get their attention. So what do you do? Yeah. You entertain mm -hmm. them. Of course, you yeah. tell them to kill you if you don't <laughs> laugh yeah. at show. But, you know, they, they know your heart. When you get on stage, you have something to say. You perform. Everybody's having a good time. Right. Leave leave that stage with something important. I don't care if, what it is. I don't care yeah. if you're whatever. You, you know, leave it, leave it with something that makes... Uh, a statement from you. There's teaching experiences you see all the time. I see people in the audience and uh, I didn't even know when I was singing a song that, uh, you know, my husband's in the Steve Miller band. Yes. So, oh, so uh, he, there, uh, uh, the keyboard player, uh, Joseph Wooten had written a song called I Matter. This was like six years ago before the whole I, the I Matter, You Matter, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. he right. wrote that song and I was singing it one night and this kid came up to me afterwards and he said that really meant something to him. I didn't know that he was the kid with the backpack that he just put off on the side near the railroad tracks. He's been homeless and kind of hoboing up and down. You wow. Know, you know, oh, they wow. do that yeah. here in San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because it's so pretty here, you know, mm -hmm. you can get off the train and enjoy yourself. But and, and he, he said, so you never know who's listening. So we yeah. have a responsibility to party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, yeah. And, and to me, that's a party. Yes. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And some of the best teachers that have been out there are the ones who entertain or they make a game out of it. But it's it, the great thing is, and I, I had several teachers that were like this, like you're sitting there and you're like, man, this is already, this is a fun class. And, oh, wait, I just, I, 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 just I learned did. that. <laughs> I, I'm learning. Damn that. it. They're teaching me crap. Yeah. But you know? I, I got and, one more. There was a teach. There was uh when I was at Western, because I was a keyboard major, um, uh, I had to, uh, I always avoided this woman, uh, key, one of the keyboard teachers, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. her name was Phyllis Rappaport. See, you know, there are certain people's names that you can never easy. forget them. Yeah. Everybody would say, whoa, she is so hard. She is like hell on wheels, Diane. You don't want her, you know. So the last year I taught, I had to go back for summer to, to finish up some classes. You know how you do that. And so I, she was the only one on campus. Oh, wow. So <laughs> I got Phyllis Rappaport. And as I'm sitting there, I, you know, <laughs> Phyllis. Yeah, so. <laughs> it just seemed appropriate. I'm sorry. It is appropriate because I stood there and that that sound. Can you play it again? I mean, uh, no, not yeah, that not one. <laughs> okay, so I went in there and I sat. I started playing, and I'm doing what you know the very right thing to do. And then she says, "What's wrong with you?" Uh, she says, uh, <laughs> You're like, let me hey, show you no. how you should, uh, let me show you how you should be feeling this. And I really didn't want to do music because it was all in my family and it came easy to me. So, you know, right. it come easy. You don't really study because they should, I mean, because it comes easy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted Trust to be me. a dancer. I wanted to be a dancer, but they only had. If you wanted to be in dance, you had to major in physical education. So there was no performing arts class. Oh, gotcha. So I just stayed in music and did the dance classes. But I always wanted to have played. You don't want to just sit there and do this, you know, at the keyboard. And some people do. And they function well with that. But Phyllis said, get up. She Sat at the piano. She said, when you go for that cadenza, you know those things where you go, you know, yeah, all the way up there. So uh, uh, she said, 
this is what you should do. And she went through the motion and she put movement into it. And I went, and I've been afraid to come to this woman all this yeah. time. <laughs> well, okay. So she's so, the one that's going to let you be you. Right. Yeah. 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 Step in your and you're be grateful for it, you know? Right. So, uh, you know, uh, feel the pain and do it anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So well, that's like, like a, I, I played trombone yes. in uh, high school in jazz band and when you know the, the band teacher would be like all right trombones play that section and you'd play it as written and you'd be like that's weird okay and then <laughs> let's play the song like and you and but you'd play it how it should be played like you know what i mean not as written but as like as you feel and then he'd be like stop stop okay trombones play your part again and he'd be like doo, 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 doo. but no 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 play what you were playing when the band's playing and you're like oh i was playing what's written no 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 oh, you weren't you're playing what's yeah. what play what you're playing and you play and he's like all right you know better than whoever transcribed this yeah <laughs> that's what i want to hear every time of you guys and oh, i just well, got chills I, mm -hmm. I love it i love it when you're playing music and you're right yeah <laughs> well and, and, and it just naturally comes and hello Corey hall yeah um, and it's funny. There's there's one there's this one um, one part in actually the Witches of Eastwick, believe it or not, where Susan Sarandon is sort of that repressed uh, music teacher, right? Right. And then uh, she, anyway, she meets Jack Nicholson and she has her thing with him. And then the next class is when she's all like free and sort of free of her inhibitions. Oh yeah. And yeah. remember, the kids aren't getting the music piece, right? They're just not right. getting it. So she throws the music away and they sort of free up and everything. And then it sounds like you know, a, a choir that's, or a, um, a, the band that's been doing it for years and the principal's walking down the street and she <laughs> sees them all in class and doing that thing. And so, no, it, uh, you know, I mean, uh, it boils down to, yeah, the, the right teacher knowing their students, you know, and knowing how to get the best out of their students. And at the same time, <laughs> being able to be a little creative in class and, and, and making it fun and making it exciting my my oldest brother lieutenant dan um retired navy <laughs> yeah. um ta uh, taught at the naval academy taught leadership at the naval academy now danny is also a member of the magic academy in san diego because that's where he lives right yeah, yeah. and and so he would end all of his classes with a magic trick and the three years that he was teaching at the naval academy was voted educator of the year all three years Boom. so so I, I mean, you know, the Naval Academy, you know, known for being sort of a a very stuffy sort of by the book organization, had a you know had an older, <laughs> kooky Greek leadership teacher that would yeah. end all of his classes with a magic trick, you know, yeah. and yeah. and people loved it. And he talked, and he still gets, he hasn't done this for years, but he still gets notes from his students saying, you know, thank you for for what you did. This helped me accomplish this. So. It, you know, it, it, it means a lot to be, to educate, but to educate in the right way. So people yeah, get it. Absolutely. You know? Yep. And, and that's what I, I, I mean, if I'm, if I'm getting the gist, I think we're, we're all kind of saying the same thing is, you know, a great teacher may seem hard. It may, and it's difficult for some people, but that's because some people aren't open. They don't mm -hmm. want to sit there and listen. They just want to be able to get through. And yeah. there, there's a lot of kids nowadays that are being trained for that as to where you get the other kids that are innovators that start asking the questions and they want to be challenged. And, you know, that's that's what I keep telling my girls. I'm like, ask questions. Well, but then everybody gets up. I don't care what everybody else wants. It's what you want. And what yeah. you need is to question what you're being told, because sometimes you can just be told, you know, this is a wall. OK, what do you mean? I said, I'm just said, I'm telling you right now, this is a wall, my hand going up and down. That's a wall. No, it's your hand going up and down. Right. So but you just told me that. So you're seeing what I'm telling you. It's not. And then she's just sitting there looking at me all puzzled. I'm like, the whole idea is to question and make sure of what's going on. And then once you get a teacher that brings some entertainment value into it, like I said, you know, I was sitting there and all of a sudden, crap, I just learned something. <laughs> oh my god this is incredible 
let's do more, you know, and you, you have a great time with it and you enjoy learning. And that's what educating is being, and that's what it is. And what's happening nowadays with teachers is they're just given a book, give them this so they can pass this. Okay. Boom. And it's so well, rare to find people like, like what you're saying, what you were doing, where well, you they're were, out there. They're yeah. Out oh, there, there, they are. They're few they're and far out. between nowadays, sadly, but they're sorry, out there. Spending their money to try to get things done. I mean, it's, it, you know. Yeah. I mean, oh I God. Keep thinking of Jack Black in School of Rock. I don't oh know. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, they're. Oh, I was gonna say something, but. Say it. Anyway. Say it. It's say the it. random Christian show. Yeah. You can say whatever you, can say anything you, want. you want. Oh boy. Because see, Matt's here and he's in San Luis Obispo, so I can't cuss up a storm here. So they I'm not. Oh, doing sure it. you can. So, oh, you should hear me gone. when I'm not on the air. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. <laughs> so uh anyway, yeah, you know, um one of the guys here in San Luis Obispo. When I got here, and I figured I'm just going to substitute, and I'm I'm sitting there, you know, just as an accompanist, and you know, with the San Luis Coastal Unified District, and I can be like anonymous here. And then one kid, his name is Jeff Mitchell, and he comes to the class, and and, and this is a this this choir is fabulous. Uh, uh, Gary Lamprick is the oh, yeah. top choir director here, and he's retired now but uh this kid comes in and he sits down and he looks at me he said were you in that movie and i go shush i said we'll talk about it later you know everybody found out anyway but you know so <laughs> i I'm, I'm really at home here you know yeah so that's Matt, awesome. if you bump into me up at gross uh, grocery lots or food for less or <laughs> <laughs> just you I know will. okay <laughs> all right well yes. i was talking with my wife and i'm like it's been two and a half years since i've seen a live band i'm gonna get no. down the cover I, I uh fall of 2019 i saw x in uh morrow bay at the siren and that was the last live show oh I've wow seen. That and I've been an jonesing, show. and you keep mentioning your husband uh, playing at Puffers, right? Puffers in Pismo. Yeah, but he's gonna he's gonna be at Siren with uh, Scott Martin with uh, um, uh, oh. Supernova. That's what they're calling themselves. Oh. And this is oh. like Latin, and he and and Scott Martin, saxophone player who was in the group War. You know, so oh Spokane yeah, yeah. Well, a friend of mine. Oh yeah. Burp, 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 burp. Supernova, you know, so. huh? Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make it to that show. I'll, I'm gonna we're gonna yeah, because I'm Jones and to see live music. I love live music. Well, hey, it's let just, now let's let's uh, plug this out again real quick. What's what's the name of the club? Uh, the Siren. The and siren, the, the siren, it's in Morro Bay. And then, uh, see, I didn't know we were going to talk about Kenny, but you know, I'll give you a date so you can. <laughs> well, we should get, we should get Kenny on the show sometime and he can, uh, that would be cool. Push more yes. stuff because we're it's more, more interested in what, what you do some live stuff every once in a while, don't you? Well, yeah, because he asked me. <laughs> Yeah, man, the bar flies. And they were appearing up at B.B. King's at Universal City. Oh, cool. And they were dressed in suits and they had hats on and they were playing blues. And, you know, um, you know, Dylan's son, the one uh, with that. Uh, Jacob, Wallflowers, yeah. right? Jacob, 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 yeah. Well, so the drummer was the kid that was in the Wallflowers. And oh. uh, another friend who we always knew was Jeff lead but he's now jeff paris and then kenny and there were a few other people you know you see i'm getting older now guys so you're getting me at a good time in my life but uh so it was cool because they they called it the bar flies so now yes here, here we are in san luis obispo and he's just using the name to to start something up here right. and he said, look, so-and-so couldn't make it. Can you play keyboards with us? And I went, I don't, you know, I thought I'm being the teacher, the mom now after Sergeant Pepper and everything else. And uh, he said, uh, just, just do this. So we did it. And it was at a winery or something, you know? Yeah. So um, then people started saying, uh, can you sing another song? Can the girls sing? 
<laughs> like, shut up, look at chick talk. Oh man. I'm telling you, I don't care if you've got the best jazz guys in on the stage. Somebody wants to see the, the dancing girl come out or I don't know. <laughs> the, the singers Whoa. You know, what kind of show was this? Well, you know, well, you know the wineries around here and they get a little <laughs> muddy and so. Oh well, well see, I love my dad was a, he had his own orchestra, and so jazz musicians. They are, you know, Mar went and Marcellus all when you get jazz guys on stage and they are like hitting it, man. They it's like you better be like an aficionado or somebody who yeah. loves jazz, or you're not in the party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You uh, you fit in or get out. You're on stage doing that thing and you understand and get on with it. Uh the rest of us who like rock and roll, you know, you're either gonna be in the mosh pit or somebody's gonna <laughs> jump up. What generation? am i addressing right now yeah <laughs> oh are you guys gen xers yeah, yeah i am you are okay let me think about this 80s right 80s yeah 90s. i was born in 75 i i i go late 70s to uh mid 90s oh Okay. Well, you know, you get you get involved and you get to jump up and down. You have to listen oh, yeah. to jazz. You got to it's an intellectual, emotional high. It's oh, almost God. possible, yeah. you know. So uh <laughs> I forgot what I was going to tell you. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think they were uh, the the jazz is great. You are and now a regular on the show. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every, okay, so every week you get to jump in now. Huh? I said every week you can come in now. It's fine. Okay. You 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 fit Thank right you in. Pass. Watch out. <laughs> so, uh, and, oh, by the way, my uncle Louie and I sent you pictures of that too. My dad was the one in a family of uh, fifteen kids. Oh, wow. My oh, grand I... my my grandmother had five with a man and he died, and then my grandfather, who had played on Beale Street, he was born on Beale Street. Um, oh wow! Was this went and toured with W. C. Handy for a while. So when he had all these kids, he had three girls, and the rest of them were boys. And most of them ended up musicians. My That's aunt right. Nan went out. She was with Bonnie Berrigan. She was the first to leave, and uh, Fats Waller, and she went and did all that. And then my dad was a jazz musician who Sam Phillips looked at him because we're from Memphis, Tennessee, you know. Right. Right. And he thought. Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're going to do this uh, white man with a black sound, you know. But that was yeah. trumpet, and that black was no working, you know. That yeah. was that was Sun Records, and yeah. so he changed his name because Steinberg wasn't gonna work, you know, and all that, you know. And, and just to put a little topper on this, Steinberg's, and you know, it's in the background. But my grandfather was raised Baptist, and I was raised Catholic, so you know, oh, the of Columbus <laughs> visit. Does the synagogue, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just a big muddled mess after a while. And collard greens, okay. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, my my father trained all his brothers. They were all in his band, and they worked with. Um, <clears throat> uh, we're working on a thing now where it's uh, where whatever was happening on Beale Street as it began to grow, the birth of the blues, the star, the, the how rock and roll came to come out of that. You know, Steinberg was always there. So wow. they've been awarded uh, uh, authentic Beale Street musicians by the W.C. Handy Foundation. Oh, and we have a brass cool. note on the sidewalk of fame on Beale Street. Yeah, okay. nice. <laughs> uh, it's a Steinberg family, and then uh, uh, my uncle Louis was one of the founding members uh, with uh, Al um, Steve Cropper, Al Jackson, and Booker T with Booker T and the MGs. Oh, and, and he co-wrote <laughs> Booker T, and he oh, co-wrote. They all, you know, they look. They, a guy didn't show up for a session. So my uncle said, I went across the street to get me some gin and we waited for this guy. He says, I came back and he always loved um uh uh oh, what uh, is that? The, the uh, uh theme uh, of the um Oh uh, my gosh. You know What is that? Peter Gunn. Peter yes. Gunn, yes. I, 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 I takes Max Marks Square. 
<laughs> you're good. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so he's there playing because he just loved it with the horns and everything you know yeah so he now he's all juiced up you know and he goes back in the studio to do the session with steve and al and, and they're waiting for the guy so they just he, he's playing it and then the booker t jumps on the organ and next thing you know it's bump up bottle 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 turns into pop up same notes different rhythm oh my god he went oh, into wow, green onions yeah yeah and then great. they started jamming so it was like one of my all-time favorite songs so once the jam got going you know it was like somebody pushed a button and recorded it and that was the birth of booker t and the mgs and then oh my the gosh yeah but my uncle was was uh he was like in his mid twenties and the, and they were all like seventeen and eighteen and nineteen. Yeah. So they called him the old man. So <laughs> when, <laughs> so Steve brought his friend uh um uh, Doug Dunn into it from the Marquis. Wow. After Louis went on yeah, into the the but it's it's part of history. They're all in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. And the, and the Grammys Lifetime Achievement Award. He was there with them. And so there you go. So oh, it's a wonderful oh, legacy. That's yeah. so cool. Jeez. Okay. So, cool. um, so wow. you're going to come hear us do our thing when, when we perform? I'll let you know when we're in Kansas City. And I'll oh, let you God, know when yes. We're in wow. Oregon. <laughs> oh, please. Yes. Please, 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 please let me know. And, um, uh, I mean, we got uh, some great blues clubs here. And oh, my gosh. Oh, that's uh, fabulous. I mean, it's Kansas What's City. What's your favorite? What's your favorite there? Uh, there's actually, it's a little jazz blues club downtown. I can't remember the name of it. I haven't been there for uh, quite some time. Uh, oh, my gosh. That's, oh, that's all right. You're the, the Green Room, I think is what it's called. And right. it's, it is just, it's you, what you expect out of a jazz blues club. It's just, it's two levels. And yeah. right as you walk in. There's always some kind of three, maybe four piece jazz band playing right there as you walk in. And then what? there's a bar and that's it. Everybody's just crammed together, sitting there listening. And then yeah. you go downstairs, there's another band. And it's it's the same, similar setup. A few more tables downstairs, but it's just, it is so, I mean, it's it's what you see in movies, like as an old jazz club and stuff. And it hasn't changed in years, and that's the way they do it. It's been it's been that way forever. And I mean, you get guys that just show up, like famous jazz people that just show up in there and blues players. Um, they just walk in, they just yeah. walk in, and they, they'll ask to uh, sit in with man. And they're like, you uh, have yeah, to sure. have a jazz. You have to have the jazz travel log show about where to go in 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 your hometown. Oh my god! Oh yeah. yeah. So there's, there's lots of it. There's a really cool place up in Portland um, called the 1905 uh, because it's a building that was built in 1905. But it, <gasps> yeah, it is it is like the premier I know jazz that club. Place. Yeah, so okay. yeah. come play it, please. <laughs> uh, so, okay. it, it just makes me miss living in San Francisco in the North oh, Beach. Oh, jazz oh clubs yeah, no, there the were. Place? I mean, nice there were a hundred jazz clubs in San Francisco. 1905. Yeah, the 1905 in Portland. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. daughter all, almost went to a PNCA there. The, okay. Uh, oh. Yeah. She yep. was going to get a, and the lady who ran that place at the time, this is about six years ago, um, she, her mother lived in Los Osos. And, oh, and, so, okay. wow. and she was going to give Kendra a full ride and she oh, didn't wow. want to go. She yeah. went, wow. I Kids, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my pocketbook and I go, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Could have yeah. used that full oh, ride, kid. kid. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the, oh. the other really good jazz club in Portland is Afro Daddy's, which Afro that Daddy, that, you know that? It, that play it's it's just a it's a cool place. It's 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 got some of the best like those are the two places where the people that come through and play jazz play jazz. So do they yeah. have jazz? <laughs> do they have a grand yeah. piano there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, see, all right. Okay, let uh, we're listen. We're we're gonna take a we're gonna do a quick commercial, okay? And then we're gonna come back, Diane, and and I want to I want to talk some more and uh, about your singing, but I also want to talk a little bit about the old Sergeant Peppers there and how that all evolved. But uh, I yeah, I I want to yeah, talk about some, that. Oh. 
<laughs> now, we'll we'll blip on it real quick, and then we're going to okay, go back to you. You got it. All right. So uh, if hang tight with us for just a few minutes or just a minute, and the, or I'm sorry, a minute and thirteen seconds, Matt. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Let's we'll, tighten that we'll, up. We'll, Come on, we'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I got to get the graphics up. Yeah, I got to get everything dialed in. Okay. Uh, yeah, here we go. All right. The Random Christian Show is proudly sponsored by Neil Getzlow's new book, Unmasked. Hey, it's Christian, and we're all struggling with something in our lives. I mean, men and women both. Maybe it's an addiction or loneliness or bitterness, something that just keeps us on edge. Well, for Neil Getzlow, he had an addiction to porn that started when he was just nine years old. And then it built up and it turned into a sex addiction as an adult. But thanks to the power of prayer and forgiveness from both God and his wife, Neil was able to walk away from those struggles and completely turn his life around. Now, it may be you or somebody you know, but if Neil can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. There is hope and there is a way out. God's going to give you the path, but are you going to take it? I want you to check out Neil's new book, Unmasked, and learn all about this. Uh, if you use the code RANDOM for free shipping, you're going to save a bunch of money, and you're going to really help yourself or somebody out. All right? Go to the randomchristianshow.com. There's a link there. Or go to neilgetzlow.com, N-E-I-L-G-E-T-Z-L-O-W.com, and check it out. Don't forget to put in the code RANDOM for free shipping. And we're back. All right. Um, yeah. And uh, Neil's book is still out there. Make sure you <coughs> mention that code to get the 10% off. But uh, Neil's also started a little podcast. Uh, airs twice a month. And yeah, no, we're very proud of him and uh, very stoked for him. It's him and his wife. And uh, so uh, I, I believe it's called Unmasked. I, I'm. Uh, yeah. It would be smart branding to keep it. Yeah, it, it is. But he's got uh, something else with unmasked. Sure. But I can't remember. I'll tell him I, had, I was just looking at it earlier because I actually uh, we're going to we're going to have Neil back on here soon. And uh, actually, he's going to have me on his show as well. So, oh, cool. um, yeah, it's going to be really cool. Um, so anyway, make sure you check that out as well. Um, but let's uh, let's bring back our uh, guest of honor. Oh, oh she's man. holding something up. Oh, oh, look at that. Another Sergeant Pepper's trinket Ash. there. Yeah. Yes. How oh, fun. <laughs> so I, cool. I got, I got, somebody <laughs> sent me bubble gum. I mean, you kept this and sent it to me. This oh my gosh. And that's playing back when, cards. That's back when movie swag was cool. You know? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's, let's, let's drop into it just for, for a minute. How did you become Lucy in uh, the Sergeant Pepper's uh, Lonely Hearts Club band movie? Um, I had just finished a recording, uh, an album with uh, ABC Records. I had a, a record with Atlantic. Oh, and okay. Then, and then when I moved to, in fact, I recorded that album my last year of teaching. Wow. And then they had to put everything together. And then um, I decided, you know, I got to get out of Detroit. You know, Motown even moved to California. So mm -hmm. uh, I thought it's either going to be New York and I'm going to do theater or it's going to be because the, the first album was interesting, but I wanted to do something else. And California, if I got to starve, I can lay out on the beach, you know. And so, so, <laughs> I ain't going to freeze to death, you know. So, true, uh, true. I uh, packed up my boyfriend, then drummer, and uh, we moved to Los Angeles, and I got the ABC deal. Nice. And, uh, and I got it because I had met uh, the um, the vice president of ABC Records, Otis Smith, at a party that was given for, um, you know who Harry Nielsen is? Oh, yeah. Harry Nielsen, yeah. The song, Without You, da 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 Right. Without you, anyway. So the party was given for Harry Nielsen and Stella Stevens and all those old timers. Oh, oh wow! Fact, you know the the uh, are you got any of you guys Star Trekkers? Oh yeah, big ones. Uh, yeah, those those two are huge uh, Trekkies. Your Trekkies. <clears throat> okay, so yeah. you know the girl that was dancing and she was green. You know, yes. She was trying yeah. Out. She was there. 
The I, sexiest green chick I've ever met. I know. Kenny has always been in love with, with her. But anyway, <laughs> she, was there. she was there. And so Oda Smith, who was vice president of ABC Records, knew my mother because she was in radio. And at that time, she was my manager. We were looking for a manager, too. And I met Harry Nielsen. And Otis said, uh, you know, do a demo and let me hear what you're doing this recent. Yeah. And so uh, I got a chance to go over to A&M Records and um, Gino Vanelli, you know who he is. Oh, God, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, living inside my love. Oh, no. okay. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, flashback. Yeah. Sorry. So Gino Vanelli poked his head in and he he went down and told her about, but, you know, you got to give her a budget to go in. So I had this demo ready to roll. And so Otis Smith said, yeah, you need to go in. So I finished the album. When it was done, um, he, um, I, I was at ABC and this guy, Charlie Miner, came in. He was over A&R. And he said, could you just come to my office for a minute and stood in the doorway. And he got on the phone and he said, I found her. And I went, uh, and I didn't know what he was talking about. He says, I'm looking at Lucy right now. And he had the inside of my album. But listen, the inside should have been on the oh. album. It was that good of a but but anyway, so he says, I found her because they had been scouring all of the, the <clears throat> uh, companies to see what singers could possibly also act and because Carly oh, wow. Simon was supposed to have the part and she didn't want to do it for some reason. Plus, I think she was probably taller than Peter Frampton. Don't tell him I told him. <laughs> but, so, <laughs> <clears throat> moving on. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, Peter Frampton's a stumpy. Yes, Peter <laughs> Frampton's a stumpy. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, Peter alone. But anyway, so, uh, <laughs> so then they, they, there was a. Um, Doggone it. I, I forgot to tell you that at Harry Nilsson's, I met uh, uh, one of, uh, I met George Burns at that party, and I also met uh, oh. John, Lennon, John Lennon at that party. Um, and he was with May Peng because him and uh, Yoko had broken up. You know that little time right in between where they weren't together? Mm -hmm. Right. I, I met them. So uh, oh. I didn't know how they were going to figure into my future at that point. Wow. But uh go forward and now i've finished the album and uh they send me over to paramount to audition so i get in there and the guy playing the piano <laughs> was not playing the way i would play the piano so i he started i i went in with choreography and everything because they had girls coming in and laying on the piano you know oh, like the ba you know oh. like you know, so I figured, come on, I think I know what they're going for, and I did it. And uh, he started slowing up, and I go, "Come on, come on, pick up, pick, pick it up." And so, uh, <laughs> come so, on, buddy, keep up. <laughs> so they told me that uh, Robert Stigwood, RSO, he said, "Go back to the girl who was bossing the piano player around." So I got the part. Ah, nice. nice, nice. <laughs> wow. Okay. So now, what was this? What was the album called that you uh, you, that you put out with uh, ABC? Well, it was Universal Child. Universal Child. I'm I'm googling you right now. Well, you can. You know what? Somebody took my cover of "Baby I'm Yours," and they did, made it all about mothers and babies. And I mean, I mean, they did have a cow and a calf, but they did have other people. <laughs> <laughs> And it was kind of nice. I don't know who's making money on that one, but um, you're like, not me, damn it. <laughs> not me. But uh, also, I co I wrote the um, theme song for Evening at the Improv. Oh, and, uh, yeah. So, all right. So, and, I'm not. I okay. I'm gonna do it. Would you right, sing you can, it? Uh, Would you sing us a little bit of one of your songs? Oh. God, I don't sing, you know, I sing so low now. You need to call me Smokey Topaz. Dude, well, that's, I, I can hear it in your voice. And I, I don't, you pick, pick a song that you want to sing. I just love to hear a little bit. Oh, Not to put you on the, on the spot or anything. Yeah, right. <clears throat> well, from, from Sergeant Pepper with the, 
picture yourself in a boat. On, see, no, don't, don't do that to me right now. Just okay. <laughs> All right. I listen. I, Aretha we'll, Franklin. We'll have you back on, and listen, Aretha you have Franklin, time to prepare. Oh, Matt, you know, I, I, I'm going to bring you over here, and I'm going to serenade you, and bring your wife. <laughs> We'll we'll do it in our garage here. Okay. <laughs> or or we or we figure out a jingle for the random Christian show, and she can Ooh. sing it. Ooh. Okay. Um. So if you were to pick a style for the random Christian show, it would be rock, of course, or would it be funk, yeah. or would it be rap and rock, or what would it be, Christian? Yes. Yes, <laughs> all of that. <laughs> you gotta take oh. all that and put it all together, <laughs> make a little tap ball, and boom, see what sticks. I gotta tell you, you know who George Clinton is. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just thought I'd ask. I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, we all know about the P Funk. Okay, so uh, he's uh, he was just here in San Luis Obispo not long ago, and I freaking missed it, oh. but uh. So he, he, my mother was on radio. And so she used to have a thing at the end of her show where she go, I'm going to put you into something that you can't shake loose, whether you want to or not. I bet you. Yes. So, okay. So mm. he decides he's going to write a song called I bet you. So she's waiting for it. So he wrote two of them just in case she didn't like one of them. So <laughs> are you, would you have that kind of discriminating taste, Christian? Because, oh, I, hey, I, <laughs> you throw it at me, I will love it. I, I just, I, I can hear you singing some jazz stuff and things like that. And it's just in my head right now. I'm just like, okay. <sighs> we, you know what? You know what we would like? Oh, my man. I love him so. He'll never know. See, it's it's Smoky Topaz. It's yeah. But, no, but you know what it is? It's what? also very Bond theme, which fits with the show. Oh. No, that if you could do a jazzy Bond, you theme want a jazzy type song Bond theme? Oh, that's exactly it. what we need. I think so. That you is. Wanted, you That's wanted, exactly what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Loud horns. That's right. Played <laughs> it. Funky music. Yeah, we need our we uh, yeah, we need our gold finger, essentially. That's what we need. <laughs> no, no, I don't expect you to die. Effects. I expect no. you to get funked out. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wait a minute. With the sound effects that you have, which sound effects do you have? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it should start with that as the theme. I don't know. We might have to pay. We might have to pay a royalty. I don't know. So, <laughs> as long as it doesn't start with this. That's how we'll end it. <laughs> no, then let Matt write that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, yo, boom! Dropping it right there on Matt. No, there we was, go. There we go. That's the producer. So. I guess you're going to have to produce me through this little uh, journey. Right? Yeah. I, w I won't have Ooh. to do two. And this will be me. No, it sounds great. Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. Right. Instead of, instead you do of the man again? with... Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> but this instead time... Of... No. Sorry. What instead of... Say? Instead of the man with the golden gun, he's the man with the random tongue. Ooh. <gasps> oh, Andrew. <laughs> Marketing. Damn it. Yeah, We're getting we'll shirts talk made. About We'll We're getting out. shirts made. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Man. So I, I didn't bore you guys today, did I? No. Oh, you kidding? are you kidding? We ain't even done. <laughs> <laughs> what else would you like to know? Well, okay. So, um, yeah, I know we we we're, we're only good with you for so long here. Um, uh, we do have series of questions that we do like to ask of you. So, uh, would you be game for that at all? Yeah. <laughs> and once I, again, you've fallen into my evil trap. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. Those painkillers are really kicking in. I yeah, see. they are. <laughs> oh, good Lord Almighty. No, see, and that's where we put this little disclaimer down here. Yes, we're nerds. Um, we that's have what, what we like to call. What Chris likes to call. Random questions of insanity. 
And okay. um, <laughs> so she's like, yeah, okay, sure, whatever, weirdo. Um, which is where we we have a series of questions that we do like to ask. We do have a couple staples that we always ask because we love to hear people's uh, responses to these. And the first one would be, what is your favorite James Bond movie? Live and let die. Oh, God, I love you. I love you so much. This is awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, that yeah, that's like one. That was the, the first music? James Bond movie oh I ever my saw. God. Live and let die. Boom. Um, you know, McCartney you know nailed that song so amazingly. You I know what? Just... Like when we we have some songs, like we have a set that we like uh, to just throw some interesting things in, and I do Goldfinger. <laughs> do you do. really? I do Shirley Bassey very well. Oh. But, and uh, so, but Live and Let Die, I got to do, because I love that piano part. Oh, yeah. That's that's rock and roll piano right there. Yeah, Screw Elton you. John. That right it's, there is the one that keys it. I don't know. Don't mess with, with Elton. Joy. It's my that's my boy. But I do love Live and Let Die. So next question. Okay. Uh, your next question. Okay. What is you? Okay. It's lunchtime. You're going to the fridge. You get to make your favorite lunch sandwich. Describe to us from bread to other piece of bread, what you have. Okay. Because we have gluten-free bread in there that Kenny buys. I will use that lettuce bacon no 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 this you 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 reach in you pull out whatever it is that uh you diane says oh this is the sandwich for me if you want gluten in your bread you can have gluten you, you get a gluten, gluten in your bread, bread. <laughs> we'll let you see i'm not a sandwich eater but i will go for a wrap so you know oh okay, okay. all right so, wrap uh, will work i will take um Oh my God! You know, turkey cheese and all. Wrap it all up in the da 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 with some uh, some pepperoncinis in there and oh, some. Oh yeah. Da, 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 da. You know, so basically, yeah, I'll Lots do. Of da, 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 da. Yeah, and so <laughs> if it's regular bread, uh, and because uh, we never have the submarine type bread in there, but it's basically a BLT with turkey and stuff thrown in and extra things. Yeah. Oh, ooh, I'm happy. Yum. Yeah, the man. Chinese are like, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, cool. now, uh, mayonnaise or Miracle Whip? Mayonnaise, man. Yes. No man, Miracle Whip. Okay, regular <laughs> mustard or spicy bold mustard? I like the brown bold. Yeah. Mustard. No, no poupon. No poupon. No poupon. No, no. Use no, that the on golden. Nope. I'll use yeah. that on other things. Yeah. Because yeah, I've been to Berlin and all that, and I know how to eat that right, but. Brown mustard, yeah. Yeah. Spicy. Yeah. Not too spicy, but <clears throat> good. Yeah. Mm. Now, uh, the bacon on the BLT, is it crisp or is it just just so? No, I got to have it crisp. Oh, okay. Crunchy. Nice crunchy. Yeah, I like it, baby. <laughs> yeah. Get the crunchy and beat your bear to bacon there. Burr, 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 okay. burr, burr. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay. You know, now we're going back into the random questions of insanity. Okay. Here we go. Yes, I know. And he's <laughs> we're taking that soundboard away from him. Don't and he's worry, already no. redoing the soundboard. <laughs> okay. I'm, yeah, I'm taking What's, it down. What is the weirdest thing a guest has done at your house? <laughs> <laughs> that you can and talk about. We don't have the FCC to contend with here. So you can. No, you know. I, I will tell you the weirdest thing and i told him you can't come in my house anymore <laughs> and oh. I, I can't remember who it was exactly i think i think he was somebody that was affiliated with todd rundgren's band no no i no. Well, so I anyway this guy comes into the house and he immediately goes over to our coffee table and start laying out lines of cocaine and i'm and, and i'm like I don't think so. You, know, <laughs> you want to say, look, 
I was a bad girl in Sergeant Pepper, yeah. but I'm really mm -hmm. kind of uh, all of my cousins. They consider me the goody two shoes of the family. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the, I mean, yeah. there's, you ask before you do something. I was going to say, like there's, a, there's saying, an etiquette. As no, a, uh, you don't just bust out talking, stuff. We're talking maybe the 80s when it was really going crazy. And I guess. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, yeah. You know, come on, guys. Look at the dude. And I, I went, <laughs> Kenny, can we have a talk? You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need a moment of your time here. I need a they're all schnurping. Okay, now that, but that wasn't the weirdest, was it? <laughs> I don't, I just see your house. I don't know. <laughs> right. Yeah. The weirdest in my house. I mean, like in my house. No, I, that's gotta be the, the one that I. Just, all right. That yeah. works. I mean, Public nobody bucket. ran naked in my house or anything like that, or did anything on the floor or whatever, you know, mm. so, uh, or went in my refrigerator and ate things without my, but that, so that's gotta be the weirdest. So you never had Motley Crue or Ozzy Osbourne in your house, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I want to make you know, a random I, sandwich. You know. Sharon! He but, likes his but, carrot cake. <laughs> I was living under the Hollywood sign on, uh, uh, you know, the street. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know where it is, going up the street. Yep, I, I, I've I been in the O. Yeah. The second okay, O in wood. So uh, when I moved out of that place in 81, we moved into Woodland Hills and we bought uh, Kevin Cronin's house, you know, Ario Speedwagon. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he was getting a divorce and we got it for a really good price. <laughs> 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 he had a pool, a hot tub, you know, <laughs> and, and an orange tree, which, okay. So, anyway, next. <laughs> And which goes again to prove it's not what you know, it's who you know. Well, um, I, didn't, I didn't know him at that time, but but anyway. But hey. and, and we we ended up co-writing a song for UNICEF uh, with uh, Kenny, uh, um, Kevin Cronin, Eddie Taduri, a drummer who's played with a lot of people, and uh, oh God, the other guy, I forgot. It, but anyway, that became the the theme song for UNICEF called Let the Children Live. Yeah. You can, oh, you can look that up yeah. on um, and that's me starting out singing the song real soft. And then Bill Champlin comes in and sings. And you know who Bill Champlin is? I know the name. Why, who? Why, who the Champlin you? Brothers. Uh, yeah. Uh, look, look up the Champlin Brothers. Look okay. up Bill Champlin. <clears throat> and uh, his son um, was on The Voice, oh, about maybe about four years ago. He came in. Mm. Oh, Really? Yeah, yeah, oh, great, very nice, great singer. Um, but anyway, the next <laughs> okay. <insane> question. <laughs> we're we're moving on. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I see Matt's leaving. Well, it yeah. it sounds very familiar, and I just my mother in law just gave me a bunch of records. Matt has his. Well, you oh, saw his Bill whole Ch huge collection Chamblin there. Chamblin Brothers were. Uh, oh, for Pete's sake! They they had a band called. Uh, you know what? You guys are the tech nerds, so you no. can look at it. <laughs> no, I, 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 don't, I don't have it. I you have get it, us. So. You so get us. I, I do. I do get you. All right. I need you, you to help me put my website together. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Andy, Andy's your uh, Andy, and your guy for that. <laughs> Call me. Yeah. So that's what Andy does. Okay. So, um, yeah. okay. You have discovered. I will, I will give you, you Andy's phone number. Don't, don't okay. Worry. Wait a minute. Did you find Bill Champlin? No, I I didn't find it. No, but he found about nine now, other records that he's going to disappear with so, soon. See, so if Kenny was here right now, he'd be able to tell you they 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 were called they were the Champlin Brothers, and they had a name, and everybody. Oh, did you hear the Champlin Brothers? Okay, go on. Next question. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You are so awesome. Okay. You have discovered a beautiful island upon which you may build your own society. And you can even make the rules. What's going to be the first rule you put into place? Be happy. Yeah. That's a good one. Well, Damn it. I mean, you know, like... I was expecting some more complex societal placement type of thing, but... Being happy is pretty okay, damn good. Okay, okay, hold on. <clears throat> no, no, I'm sticking with be happy. Uh, damn okay, it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if you're going to come here, 
you better be decent. <laughs> no cocaine. <laughs> no cocaine. No, right. Yeah, no, no so, pants on Tuesdays, you know. Yeah, <laughs> so, so what do they hit? They, they say French fry Wednesdays. They said and, and Ted Lasso, I think he said, uh, be curious, not judgmental. Be curious. Yeah. Just don't yeah. be just come on, let's let's coexist. Let's make a beautiful uh, let's uh, we have to know how to survive in the 21st century. So let's figure out how to do companion planting and, and composting and all that stuff and see how we can do this with the most, the least amount of money with intelligence and, and still having a nice place. And yeah, you, can, yeah. you yeah. can bring your boat and yacht and sit out there and we go party on it and relax. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, as I'm long as you girl. got the boat, the, yeah, hey, we're listen, good. Kenny, Kenny, we got a, a cabin up in Montana and, you know, Kenny sent me a, a nice thing. I wouldn't go up there because he had this outhouse out in the front yard. I wouldn't <laughs> go not me. There's not Lucy in the sky. Come on. So, uh, uh, so then he, he finally got it in there and he sent me a beautiful, I wish you could find it on my phone right now. And he shows the, the toilette, toilette. <laughs> and he flushes it and he goes, I love you, Diane. Flush, you know, so now I'll go up. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh That's incredible. Word. Oh, and there's Miss Patsy Ann. Hello, Patsy Ann. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, oh, because you have met several celebrities, which famous celebrity would you want to punch in the face? <laughs> I can't tell you that. Whoa. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. That is the smart answer. But no, there is someone, huh? I can't tell you that because I'll probably see them in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And see, see somebody out there was, you know what Diane Steinberg said about you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I got several, but I'll tell you off the show. Okay, let's see. I'll tell you who I'd like to give a spanking to. Oh, okay. There that's that good. That's good. Enough. Punch yeah, him that's... in the nose. I, when I was at Western, I went to school with a guy by the name of Michael Walden. He became Narda Michael Walden, and he he became Jeff Beck's drummer. He dropped oh. out of school. You know, we knew each other. We were in jazz lab band together, and not too long ago, he was playing with Journey. You know, when they had that pandemic concert. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so Kenny saw him because Kenny knew that uh, you know I known we I've known Michael he lived outside of Kalamazoo and so uh so so a guy goes up and says uh Diane Steinberg Lewis and he has this like deer in the headlights thing and he just told they just told me about this and it's like why are you acting like you don't know me and so I would like to on when I see him the next time Man. I'd say you could punch him in the arm and go, come on uh, now, you know. Like, you know, I won't punch him in the nose, but I will get in his face, you know. So. Uh, there but there go. are other people that I would like to punch, but I, I can't tell you that. Yeah. I'm not that Just violent. give a good swift kick in the ass, not, too. I'm not that violent. All right. I have violent okay. thoughts. I have violent <laughs> thoughts. But, okay. And that's where they, that's that's safe in there. It's okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. Um, all right, let's let's do one more here. What uh where'd it go? I had a good one. What is the most ridiculous fact that you know? The most ridiculous fact. That somebody is thinking of running for president in 24. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a pretty ridiculous fact. That anybody wants to be president at this point. Ah. Oh, but it, okay. I already said it. So there you go. You know where I am. So. <laughs> <laughs> Now can we talk? No, no. Oh, no, oh we can talk, darling. Oh, we, we, talk. We, 
me, we can talk about a lot of things, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay, so anyway. All uh, right. Yeah, I didn't want to go political. See, the, the most ridiculous fact. Can you give me examples of what other people have said? <laughs> um, What's uh, your most ridiculous fact? <laughs> Matt's Nobody beard is a real. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't mean to Matt, make Matt's beard. beard is made out of his uh, cat's hair. Okay. Oh. I just he glue glues it on. on every That's morning. why it's so perfectly lined right there. Oh, you? I, you know what? Uh, uh, can you uh, edit that one last comment out? And then we'll, this is live, right? I'm yep. screwed. Okay, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I have been up with the most ridiculous fact is that I have to wake up at three and then wake up again at five, not to go to the potty myself, but to clean my dogs on the carpet oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. for the last two weeks. I've oh been. gosh. What kind of dog do you have? A Papillon and she's 15. Oh, you know oh. what's oh. little cute little ears. Oh. On this. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. My so, wife loves those. Yeah, well, okay, so I'm sorry that uh, your last question was a, a big <laughs> poof. You know, you know but... what? I, not my last question is, will you ever come back on the show with us? Absolutely. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. We haven't had a no yet. No, but, well, has anybody come back on, though? Oh, yes, yeah. actually. Yeah. Believe it or not, they have. <laughs> we just last week we had uh, Mark Cashman on for the second time, and he's already mm -hmm. signed up for a third. Uh, I'll tell you there how you, you should do this you should have Kenny on, yes, and come in and join in. And we'll yes, sit here, and you know, that is uh, if you like uh, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, you're gonna oh. have it. Oh, we oh will how about this? Do that. Could huh? we get could we get him to play a little guitar and you sing a song for us? Oh heck yeah! Oh my god! Yes. You know uh, he's getting yes. ready to have a, a show uh, down at, in um, Old Thousand uh, Oh Camarillo. Thousand Oaks. Oh uh, Camarillo. You know, that, you know down there where both yeah. Westlake Westlake and uh, I that's where my I, mom used to live. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's there's a place called Bogies, and a new yes. place just opened up, and he's putting on a Fillmore show down there oh, uh, next cool. month. And so Bill Champlin's going to come. He was trying to get uh, our friend Steve um, with Toto, you know, and oh, uh, just man. so for everybody can come and sit in. But they're, you're going to do like the old Fillmore repertoire. Oh, that's so, Yeah, Bill Champlin's wife Tamara is going to come down and sing a uh, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, um, <laughs> who are the two singers? I'm. I, I need some coffee. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, uh, oh, Janice uh, Joplin. Janice Joplin, yes. Oh. And, and she's going to do Janice Joplin, and he wanted me to do uh, Won't You Take Somebody? Grace Slick. Oh, oh yeah, 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 from the very I, I don't really nice. sing that way, but I, we'll see if I, you know. It's, it's an open oh. door for me. I'll sing backgrounds with everybody and play the tambourine. <laughs> oh, oh sure, my God. Because that's going to be fun. Matt, you ought to go down for that. I, it ain't that far. I, it's really not. It's That's a, that's a, a get a hotel, crash out, and then drive oh, yeah. home the next morning. Yeah. and there's Or just drive home then. I mean, it's only three hours. Yeah. What are you going to do, right? Yeah, fun. And and then uh, Steve Miller is going to be in Santa Barbara doing some things down there. So we might just go down. Nice. And then cool. tool around. Uh, uh, he's doing it at the, I think it's, uh, there's there's the Librero Theater and then there's the Grandy down there. So uh, so what I need to do is give you guys dates and times. And yes. Yeah, like people, and especially when Steve Miller is going to be in your neck of the woods, I think you ought to yeah. know. Yes, everybody. absolutely. And we'll put it on the website so everybody can see it. I will make sure. Call back and we'll set up Kenny and then Kenny and I, however you want to do it. I had a ball, guys. We would. Oh, awesome. my gosh. This has Thank been you. absolutely so our pleasure. Thank you so yeah. much for putting up with our ridiculousness. Oh. You, I'll, I'll probably text you sometime tomorrow about setting up something with Kenny. 
Because <laughs> I, I have things to do this evening, but I, I'll i start oh, bugging you to do this evening. He's got to glue hey, back hey, the man, cat hair man. on his beard. <laughs> hey, have you guys ever heard of Kramer Guitars? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Um, Gary Kramer has a winery, that, but he couldn't call it just the uh, uh, Gary Kramer Guitars winery add on to it and he's got the museum with all these guitars it's oh. and, and and i never knew it was there we just discovered it and they have a stage and they have it and oh. so that's oh, is that up in paso it's in paso on riverside oh, i need so to go there we'll let you know yeah oh. your show so i know people come in town they move around yeah where they can go we're no, worldwide and we'll get it out there everyone know awesome oh wow yes yeah. all right yeah, yeah. so, so yeah so send great. well matt get that information from her and yeah. then we're, we're going to get it all on the website with your show we'll coordinate it with your show so everybody will see it there too okay yeah matt all we have to do is have a glass of wine and one of those sandwiches i described and we're gonna drink it. <laughs> with with well, the I blah, 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 blah. on my sandwich in my sandwich but other <laughs> than that it sounded great yeah. okay. well but yeah namaste, my friends miss thank diane you. thank you so 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 much, so much. ladies so and gentlemen much. diane steinberg lewis Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Bye -bye. Oh, my gosh. She is amazing. Love her. And, wow. Oh, my gosh. Can you hear the music? I can. Yes, we can. And so can the FCC. <laughs> yeah, well, we're on the interweb, so they can go suck it. And look at Patsy Ann. This is the best show. She it is, is the Patsy. best. Oh, it's good to see you, you back. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. you've been away. I was just too thinking long, uh, the other day. I don't think I've seen Patsy mm. uh, comment in a while. Yeah, I hope she wasn't mad at us. She's been a busy gal. I still gal. haven't given you my address yet. <laughs> <laughs> I lost here. I'm gonna I'm gonna wear my Patsy shirt next week. That's what I'm I, gonna I, do. I lost uh, um, your email. Yeah, I have address. it. Oh, there yeah. we go. Look at that. She's got movie tickets uh. on Tuesdays. So we <laughs> see what we rate. All right, fine, Patsy Ann. Um, and, uh, all right, guys. Wow, God, I'll, I'll hassle Chris for for your email address again. Nope. Okay. Mwah, I'm mwah, just so well. Fine. Oh, hold on. I need my soundboard again. <laughs> oh no! Take no, no, line. Andy Take got rid of your soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we're doing it live. Um. All right, guys. Well, oh my gosh. So now we're going to get her and her husband. They're going to play a song. This is That's going to be incredible. amazing. Yeah. Matt, get it done. Why are you wasting time right now, Matt? Make it so. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, make it so. That was the worst Picard impression I've ever done. Ever. Would have to agree. Mm. Yeah. All right. Got it, Patsy. <sighs> yeah. So, um, all right, Matt. So, who cares about that right now? Do you do. get her information? Does. Get her information. Get her information. She got it. He got it. No, not Patsy's. I thirty. I'm gonna. I'll start chatting with the. Uh, I know you're gonna do it tomorrow. I got you. I'll get it. I'm just, I'll dude. I'm excited. Tomorrow. I'll probably send man... a text after the show saying thanks. But let the man cook dinner. Jeez. I yeah, but I, yeah, I got to go cook dinner. Yeah, taquitos. Eat what? Taquitos. Taquitos. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm making the strom meal. Yeah, I'm making stromboli time. tonight. Oh, check you out. Yeah. Costco. Well, that sounds chicken. yummy. Ooh. Yeah, Famous baby. 36 taquitos. Is it me or is Matt at an angle? Oh, it's it's me. Yeah. Okay. You straighten my, my camera out. is like sitting like this. I, well, I just thinking maybe the pills were really kicking in now. But... Hold on. Hold on. I'll, I'll join oh. him. I'll join him. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> what do you mean? Whoa. Yeah. Is that better? Everybody's so weird. What I couldn't figure it out earlier is it wouldn't focus. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I sure. Be, I I think you were in focus the whole time. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, she just sent a uh, a message. I had a ball. We'll do it again. Feel better, Christian. Mwah. Oh my God, yeah. she's awesome. I can't wait yeah, to have her back on. That's gonna be great, uh, dude. And all the people she just starts. 
all these people she's met and hung out with. Oh my god, dude, it was so cool. Um, yeah, all right, our, 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 start seeing live music again. Yeah, and yeah. uh, yeah, we gotta, oh, dude, definitely. And Matt, I just saw your note on here Hatch Multimedia. Yep, I got yeah, it. Yeah, Hatch multi, Multimedia.com. Um, he has guest uh, skateboards um, from some, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the he sells and he has a San Luis Obispo skateboard and a Santa Barbara skateboard and I haven't looked in a while there might be a Ventura skateboard Ooh, yeah they're probably uh yes you are right there is a Ventura skateboard I think there is and um, uh, yeah I've known I've known Eric since uh high school or junior high actually seventh grade oh, cool. um all right. Well, listen. Yeah. I, oh, that we was... should get him on. He he has got some great stories. He uh he did some industrial arts type stuff. He worked uh-huh. on uh some of uh some railing work at right. Santa Barbara Airport. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I remember you telling me yeah, about that. Yeah. So just all right. I'll I'll. I'll... Yes, yeah, so I'll get, get, him I'll, on. get I'll get I'll get Diane's information and Kenny's information and Eric's information. <laughs> and I'll and the other people I that I sent to you the other day. And I'll give so, Patsy my address so she can see and, me sure. And Angel, the lady I sent you the That's, email. I just said that I'll answer Angel's okay. email. Oh, okay, crazy. Crack He's the whip. Oh, where is the whip? Oh, where is crack the, whip? the whip? I'm working on it. The Hold whip. on. Crack the whip. No, you can't crack the whip. You can't There'll hear the no whip way. over the music. There'll be no whip cracking. Whip oh, it, there's going to be some kid. whip cracking. Oh. You ready? There it Ugh. is. Ouch. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. Ah. May I have another? <laughs> um, sensitivity oh, Lord. on the board is... Oh, Lord. There it is. Ah. And then... And then Thanos and then snap. Then. And bye-bye. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> all right well matthew oh, i love guys. you i love it's you time, it's time for everybody to say i love you andy i love everybody love you, matt. be well enjoy your taquitos yes yes taquitos. and uh patsy ann Corey, thank you so much for uh joining us and hanging out with us we love you and we love hearing y'all on here hey make sure if you're out there and you're listening like follow subscribe review we're on YouTube, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on uh, Good Pods, our good friends at Good Pods, where we are constantly in the top 20s uh, for comedy interviews. So uh, tell your friends about us, go in there, give us a five-star review, send us some love, and tell everybody else to send us some love, because, you know, we're loving kind of guys. And and we're lovely to look at. <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Let it come out, Christian. You're allowed. This is your show. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> no, now I'm gonna be happy. <laughs> and that's the secret word for today. Happy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. <sighs> uh, I'm feeling better now. Good. The pills, they make me so relaxed. Sometimes a little stony, man. Not well, that's lie. that's then then they gave you the right stuff then. Yeah, yes, they did. Finally. This is why I can't use this at work. That's the problem. Uh that's true. Yeah. I, they're like, well, why don't you just take the pill? I'm like, dude, I, I have no. to drive. I have to drive home when I leave work. And right, they're, yeah. they're 12 hour pills. So yeah, right. Yeah. And you can't see like unicorn and rainbows on the way home. No, yeah you can Just, but no, i gave oh, yeah. those days up well right. <laughs> matt, i gave no, those well. days up a while ago right yeah matt saw me chasing unicorns off the uh, top of the roof so uh <laughs> we uh we don't need to be doing uh, that again but all right well listen andrew this has been a blast and i i can't wait to get her and her husband back i on. know that's um, gonna be really cool Let's see what what uh what do we got going on next week? Oh, that's right, John Moyer. He is a comedian and hypnotist. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna have him hypnotize Matt. I think we'll we'll bring Matt on and have him okay. hypnotize. What do you think? Does it Matt? Does it work? Yeah. Does it work over a computer? 
We'll find out. Yeah, I wonder <laughs> if it does. Like, I wonder if you, I wonder if you could virtually hypnotize somebody. That would be cool. And it's going to be the day right before my hip surgery, so I'll probably be really good. Oh no, he up. should hypnotize you to to sort of psych you out Ooh. from the. I'll be from like, the I don't need the anesthesia. I'll be fine. Yeah, go ahead, take my leg off. Oh, um. but but it would be funny if he gave you a like common like break word, you know. Like something that's regularly said during surgery, so you come out of it during it's like surgery. Out of my... <laughs> like, oh my god, what are you doing? Yeah, like scalpel is gonna be your way. <laughs> <laughs> just wake up freaking out. Like, oh, oh, where are oh, I? I here. oh my god, what are you doing? Is that my I, leg? I what are you doc- doing with my leg over there on the chicken? And the doctors are freaking out because they don't know like what <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> oh man! Oh, we got to. Uh, can't. I, oh my god, that'd be like, amazing. That would be. <laughs> scalpers, scalpels, your come out word. <laughs> oh, oh, good lord! Yeah, I, I'm actually gonna have to try and. Uh, uh, I was gonna try and film myself before I go in too, so I can uh, play it back on the uh, on the next show. Uh, well, which... I mean, at least you know, at least give us the uh, the going into surgery gung ho message. Dick. You know, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, cause, yeah. yeah, maybe I can do maybe maybe I can do a live from the hospital. It'll all depend on my si- my uh, signal, I guess. But, yeah, uh, oh, we'll figure it out. We always yeah. do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe there just won't be a show for a few months, you know. Be all... <laughs> I keep waking up in the middle of the surgery and <laughs> <All right. laughs> Hello, my love. <laughs> you gotta go what? Uh, is uh, daughter my, coming? my wife's over oh. here. She's like oh, okay. Uh, yeah, is it time? Hey <laughs> loopy boy. Yeah. He's the, one who's, he's the one who's talking, Lois, not me. Must, must be time <laughs> for some more medicine. Maybe. Um, all right. So, yes, next week, Mr. John Moyer and uh, more fun and frivolities. Uh, Andrew, you guys dropping a new uh, new episode on the old rum and regrets? Not this week. Next week. Um, yeah, our uh, our Vox Machina one dropped last Friday. So this is a week off for us. You know, And we have to come out with a – we have to figure out a – uh, a subject for next week. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. so so it's going to be the random rum and regret show. Probably it it'll mm. probably be just a catch up with uh, yeah with uh, what's going on. So <gasps> what I can do your show soon. Oh yeah. Oh Wait, that's well, right. When you're I'm no. going to be off work for several weeks. Then let's I then will... let's figure it out. Let's get you on. Psst, yeah. All right. Ah. Okay then. And no more, no more of this Vox Machina. It's Vox Machina. <laughs> all right. We're making up fancy Frenchy words and all that. Uh, uh, yeah, you call it a garage? Like well, garage? <laughs> what do you call it, Mo? A cow hole. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's no. That's and, like one of mine and Matt's favorite lines out of the right. Simpsons. Yeah, car hole. Um, no, and that, and that's funny too, because someone, uh, someone just asked, uh, well, I'm trying to get a friend hired at work and, uh, they said, Oh, should I send you my CV? I'm just like, you mean your resume, right? It's like, no, they're calling them CVs now. Like, all right. What? And it's the curriculum vitae or I don't know how oh you actually God, say are you it. Serious? But it's it's the Latin it's the Latin term for course of life that has now replaced resume. So if you hear people talk about CVs, they're talking about resumes. Dude, I got an awesome CV collection, <laughs> not <laughs> CDs, you no, idiot. Dude. Yeah. Well, so yeah, we, we we can play albums all day long. You won't. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. These CDs are totally outrated anyway. Every, <laughs> everybody's going to the MP3 format, you know, and digital audio tape's going to make a big comeback soon. I'm just saying, you know, we can listen to some dats and then, uh, you know, get stoned to the Jesus. Uh, right. Hang out with the Dalai Lama in the 18th hole. 
which he always tries to stiff me on that one. I'm like, hey, Dolly, you know, what's the deal? What gives? And then he tells me every time, he always tells me, hey, on your deathbed, you'll receive total consciousness. So, so I got, I I got, got that going, going for me. me. <laughs> yeah, I always got that going for me. <sighs> Good old Carl. All right. <laughs> Poor Andy. Shut up, Matt. Are you supposed to be grooming a cat and making food? Oh God. All right. I guess I guess that's this that's this the sign of the end. So here we are. This, this is, is the, the end. end. My long My lost only friend, friend yeah. the end. There we go. Ah, we're all on the same groove. Andy's on pain pills or numbness and no my um, my numbing has officially gone away thank god mm. so. so now it's just me and the highs rubbing off on you i got it. exactly yeah beautiful We're in the, i'm in the same virtual room so I'm, i guess i'm getting those fumes over here so then my plan has come to fruition oh yes <laughs> I, see, I see it has <laughs> 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 Somebody hit him on the back. <laughs> He's my special boy. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, kids, that'll do it for this week. Thank you so much, Andy, for hanging out with me. And uh, right. again, enjoy yourself with the rum and regrets this Friday. And uh, in the meantime, kids, we're going to take off. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to uh, eventually sober up. In the meantime, please, please be good to each other. Take care of each other. Help each other out wherever you can. It's what we need to do because we're all we got out here, kids, except for the big man upstairs that takes care of us. And in that meantime, we will see you next week with Mr. Where is he? Where is he? Mr. John Moyer, comedian and uh, not ventriloquist, <laughs> hypnotist. Oh, I got to go. I got to go. And you got to go. But we'll be back. So make sure. You check us out next Tuesday, 4 p.m. Central, right here where you saw us, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and uh, live LinkedIn and all that. All right, kids, have a beautiful week. We'll see you next week. Peace.